Hi everyone, it's Athena. Welcome back. Okay, so today is the 7th of September, right? 2020. And as we're moving into a Mars retrograde on the 9th, and I'm bringing it up because this retrograde is going to stick around until November, like 13th or something. So this is crucial to, you know, cause it's gonna last so long. Let's talk about surviving Mars retrograde, right? Mars is all about action, movement, the self, right? Your identity of, of self, yeah? Aries is the first, Mars rules Aries first house, you know, um, as we talk about the eyes, your arteries, um, right? It's all about, on. it's all about making sure that your, you know, everything is in check, right? Your, your adrenals, things like that, okay? All right, let's talk about survival though. Let's talk about ending the war within yourself, okay? Whatever you've been fighting against your own self, figuring out that it's not worth fighting. Fighting for is what I heard, right? A lost cause. Aries is also about, right, your, your, the emperor. So your empowerment. Make sure you don't go within and have this continuous battle within yourself. Okay. Next is like, think before you act. Don't make any, you know, impulsive decisions. Okay. And I, the, my printer just went off like that. So that's huge. Think before you act. That's massive. I don't know why it's going, literally it's going off. <laughs> that's crazy. All right. That's crazy. Um, have compassion for yourself, right? You need to give yourself the compassion that's needed. This is all about self, remember, right? Take time to cool off if you are like really, you know, at war with yourself and or others, okay? Turn that frustration into motivation, right? Get motivated to, instead of utilizing that energy negatively in war, fighting with yourself and being frustrated, have compassion and take your time. Don't lash out, don't be impulsive, and then find the, what makes you feel passionate. Very important. It's all about passion, you guys. But the energy for the passion has to be utilized in, an, in a positive way. Make that positive instead of negative, right? So retrogrades are there to show us what we need to work on. Okay, let's get started with this reading for the seventh. All right, I just literally got these two cards flew out. The four of pentacles with the justice. So we're holding on to this feeling of, I want justice in a situation. We're waiting for some legal action to, uh, to be in your favor, to, you know, to serve as the truth in a situation for you, meaning are you in a court case that, you know, you're owed money and you're not getting it yet. So this could be why it needs, you need to not get frustrated and turn this into a positive, right? Take time to cool off. If someone owes you money, don't get frustrated. See this as, you know, don't like lash out. See this as, you know, have compassion for what's going on, 
whatever it is, right? It could definitely be some kind of a court case and you want justice, you want your money. I mean, I mean that makes complete sense, right? Why shouldn't you? And someone's like messing with you as far as money is concerned. Look at that. They're like, they're like, what is this? Like, is someone like, like, you know, the carrot, you know, showing you the carrot and not giving it to you. Here it is. Come and get it. Is that what's going on? Or is this the jury's out for deliberation? Okay. So this is definitely about financial issues, money issues, wanting to get justice in a court case. Someone owes you money and then you're going to be happy. Look at that. So if you, if you look at this as, if you look at this as balance your emotions, balance your money, maybe you need to save so that you have for, you know, saving, everyone is saving right now, making sure that they can balance their, you know, their payments, whatever, monthly payments, it could be that. It could be for sure a court case where someone finally comes through and you're happy. You see? So it is all about, and look at all the red here. This is all about your root chakra, meaning your security and stability. Hello. Okay. So your stability and security is about if you save your money, you will gain great happiness if you're receiving money from a court case that you've been having, you know, a legality of some sort, then someone finally comes through to give you that money because the Nine of Cups is a wish come true. It's like emotional contentment. I had to wait for a while, right? Look at, did I literally have to wait for, what is it, uh, four and two? Did I literally have to wait for, you know, six months maybe for this? Maybe you've been, you know, you've been waiting a while for this, okay? So instead of, like I said, instead of, you know, in lashing out, being frustrated with others or, or, and, or, you know, emotional overload with other people, because this is truly what you've been waiting for. And now you get it, okay? And it's a nine, so you get it. Right now, September, it's happening. You get it in September. If you haven't gotten it yet, maybe this could be September 9th. I don't know, there's nine cups there. It makes you really happy. Okay, good. Look at that. You, oh my God, I love it. I love it. Now you're empowered. You're back on track. The money you received, the money that was needed in a case, whatever it is, you got the money. And now you can end that war within yourself or whatever you've been, you know, battling against, right? You're happy. I love it. I love it. Love it. Yeah. Oh my God. You're really happy. Are you kidding me? Like, let's, uh, I'm buying a round of drinks for friends. Let's go. Let's get together and celebrate. I won the battle. I won the court case, right? I won, I won. I, oh, and or whatever. I mean, it could be, you know, money's coming in and we're happy. Uh, yeah, how could you not be? And this is for, you know, all signs, right? Across the board. We're extremely happy because money has come in and now we don't have to worry. Look at that. Look at the independent, very independent and financially clearly independent. Very happy. And there's more where that came from, I just heard. So we go from the four and two, which is a six, to the nine. So we, we did take a nice jump, right? Where in between that, we got three more cups. So this could also mean right? That you're raising the bar in terms of your business. 
right? Maybe you're, this was, um, I just heard you're getting, um, you're opening your business now has enough, you have enough money for going into a, a business of some sort that you've been contemplating, um, taking a loan out, you've got the money, you know, whatever it is, you've got the means to by which to do it with, you may be coordinating with other people to get this also to do this and or celebrating both. Bottom of the deck, the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and we have Earth and Aries. And we have actually everyone, pretty much everyone on the board. We have Air, Earth, the fire though, where's the passion? I digress. We're looking for passion. Let's see. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. Gotta have passion. Okay. So we have a very amazing um, opportunity here where someone is potentially looking to start something. This could be the start of something new, a relationship, right? Maybe spirits guiding you, right? Ancestors are guiding you toward a new abundant relationship, a new business, or, or gaining more clients through your business that will allow you to receive more financial abundance, right? It's really, really good. All right, so we maintain, we've got everybody now here. We've got passion. We've got being smart about our money, how we spend our money, what we're investing in. We're investing in ourselves and it makes us emotionally really happy, very content because you're in charge of your life. You're in charge of, sorry, you can't see that. You're in charge here. Emperor is right in the middle, smack dab in the middle. Let's take this wand. And now we have Leo, Aries, Sag, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cor Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Did I say that? All right, we got them all here. I love it. Now, at one point, you didn't think this was a good deal, right? Or it was another deal that you had to decline. And then this came in. So this is how it shows up. The, this was an offer, but it maybe it didn't hold, it didn't hold your attention because you were thinking, no, I don't, I'm not feeling it, right? I don't have enough passion in this offer. So you went to this offer or you've been sent this offer, right? From the heavens. Oh my God, this love. This is huge love. This is a big love in terms of like your cup runneth over. This is someone who has taken their power in terms of they're empowered now to go after what it is they want, but they're not doing it with bad intentions. They're, they're doing it with good intentions. They're thinking before they act. They have great compassion and love here. There's total passion going on, right? That's coming right in for the King of Swords and or an Emperor and or Libra, Aries and Gemini, Libra, Aquarius are main, the main players here or whatever you want to call them. Okay. It's a good day. Can I just say we're getting, we're getting very much we're planting our seeds and the seeds that we planted are now reaping the rewards and the benefits, right? The work that you've done and it's not about the money. It's about the love. Don't forget. It's about having love and passion. And when you love what you do or you love others and you seek, seek love in everything that you do, I mean, and everywhere you go, right? It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be per se love, but everything, everything manifests if you're, if you have that heart open and you see it 
as a devotion, a manifestation, like, right? So as an example, as you, as you make decisions going forward financially, right? Saving money brings you happiness and abundance. And it's, you're like overflowing because you decided that this was the best route to go in, wherever that, you know, whatever you decided, right? That's just an example of how things manifest in the world when you give it all your love. Sorry, I have to, okay, hold on. let's get an Archangel Ascended Master card for this reading. This is a beautiful reading. This is about finding your passion, right? Look, look it, it's everything we talked about. Finding your passion. Thinking before you act. Taking time to be independently, financially stable. Being abundantly happy because you found that the only way to get all your cups filled is to literally is to literally allow the things to come about that need to come about not being frustrated but being motivated through love and being happy doing it and this balances out this balances out your life right? Your life is balanced. We have financial abundance. We have, we are in charge of our own life, right? Because we took the bull by the horns, so to speak. Not that I like that saying, quite frankly, too many. All right, let's just get one card here. Okay, beautiful. Mother Mary comes to talk about and to tell us all that love and peace goes a long way in life, obviously, yes? and being grateful and humble. Let go of the need to be right, choose peace, and mother healing is possible at this time. Beautiful. So we do have the depiction of the father and the mother, the blessed mother and our heavenly father, God. Okay, beautiful. This is, this is, Look at this. Oh my God. Achievement and the flame tree. So achievement says keep focused on your dream. Hallelujah. That is exactly what someone's doing. And I actually am going to keep these because I just cut the deck and here is what came out. The start of something new. Very, very nice. So it looks like the start of something new is bringing in great love, great passion, great stability, uh, balancing everything out as you empower your life. You empower your own life, right? That's what Mars is all about. You're empowered. One card, please. Let's just, okay, I got two. So slow down. When you get excited, you get ahead of yourself. Sit. Take time to allow things to unfold. So this is a good time to go out into Mother Nature if you can. Rest, get enough sleep, meditate, whatever it is, because this is coming in, right? Oh my God, look at this. Look at that. Nine of Cups again, hello, and the star. This is like a wish come true. This is all, everything's in harmony. Spirit, of course, God and the Blessed Mother have are, are guiding you and leading you toward this achievement. Oh my God, that's beautiful. No wonder you're excited. Okay, and the next, oh my God, it's 11. Look to your inner strength. So we do find 
our inner strength, our inner resolve is found. And utilize that in every which way during this time, September through November. This is what's happening here. It's not just for today. The reason why it, I, I, I don't know why, but because I thought this is a retrograde that's very important for many of us to get our lives back in order, to realize the potential of your life and what it's going to look like, right? These next few months. So whatever you're doing, keep on doing it. It's great. Have a great day.